88, Air Flies is 717. They both have a 3-2 a configuration, so you're going to have three seats on one side and two seats on the other. First class. So, YouTube, I wanted to flip, provide you a tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I'd like to talk about what you can do when you take these autism airport rehearsal tours, which I'm at today. This is the second one in April because we had a special uh, couple of events. The first one was a private uh, children's health care of Atlanta, and then the second one was the Wings for Autism, and I'm wearing the t-shirt for that. And you can tell I've got a little uh, ATL pin on even though it's backwards. But what I wanted to do today was provide uh, tips and advice to those of you that are going to be uh, doing these autism airport rehearsal tours. This is at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport and I'm sitting on a, I, I do not know the booing number that I'm on, but this is a first class cabin and uh, I wanted to uh, provide emphasis for those of you because these tours are offered nationwide. Number one, what you can do is do your research and look for airport and uh, airplane uh, airplane um, rehearsal tours you could contact your local uh, customer service coordinators at uh, your regional or uh, international airports and uh, find out what programs are available once you do that you can sign up you can talk to web airline officials who are directors and they volunteer their time and once you get, uh, get squared away, just go to the airport and what they're going to do is they're going to provide you with a lot of information, dissemination on what families can do to uh, practice uh, flying through the airport. Like uh, the director of this program suggested that uh, you want to put a star around the calendar and you want to uh, show pictures to uh, to your children and your adolescents and your adults who are on the spectrum and you want to uh, you want to show those as often as possible a second thing they suggested is uh, booking your flight as early as possible go figure right because uh, booking seats for an airplane i mean it fluctuates every day so you want to book that as early as possible i mean the direct because uh, because jet fuel is expensive. Uh, a third thing that uh, that the captain talked about, which I haven't heard him mention in a long time, is you can set up your uh, living room with uh, chairs from your table, like it's on an airplane, and you can practice flying. Um, something I also suggested is uh, checking out some videos on YouTube of what what the plane looks like taking off. You could play. Uh, certain airline noises, um, find a sound machine that has the sound of a jet roar while you're in midair. Uh, and another thing I had been corresponding with Dr. Temple Grandin on is that she said that when working with individuals with autism, there can be no surprises. And she said that when you go to the airport, uh, you need to have your uh, headsets ready for things like the door alarm and the alarm that goes off at the uh, at the baggage claim carousel, which is something that, that caused me to jump the last time I went to um, Washington, D.C. And uh, another thing that you can do as a, uh, as a traveler is, uh, remember, bring some empty water bottles, bring some snacks, and make sure you pack things and put them under the seats and uh, those are some things you can do. Um, you can also take that water bottle with you and fill it when you get inside, or if they like soda, just buy them a soda. Um, other things I always suggest when you get to the airport is uh, make sure you have purchase plenty of their favorite food, because I mean, I have had experiences seeing individuals on the spectrum sitting on the planes and they, they wanted to get off because they was claustrophobic and B, they were hungry because they wanted McDonald's and they saw McDonald's. Well, your child or your your loved one cannot just get off the plane and go to McDonald's because you'll just fall down. But, yeah, so the best thing to do is plan ahead of time, save a little bit of money because the, the food here is really expensive. The best thing you can do is uh, 
go to McDonald's or go to Arby's, Burger King, whatever it is, or just find out what concourses they're on. If you have a little bit of time, then to get a big bag of cheeseburgers that your loved one can eat while uh, sitting at the gate when taking off at the tarmac. Um, other thing I highly recommend doing is, yes, it's uh, it's fine to sit by the window, it's fine to sit by the, the gate, but um, what you can do is um, also if it's, it's book the shortest flight possible, like from Georgia, uh, and if you wanna take your family to Disney World, I would suggest uh, booking that and finding the cheapest flight possible. Let's say you fly uh, to Disney World and your child doesn't want to sit still. Well, the best thing you want to do, even though their cart's going by, is make sure they walk down the aisle at least once, once or twice. Uh, another thing, that your child needs to use the bathroom, remember that those toilets are loud. And honestly, I mean, they hurt my ears to a, to a degree, but what really gets me is when, uh, when those toilets are flush, I feel like I'm gonna get sucked in. So, one of the things that the airline pilot suggested was uh, getting inside, I mean, take your, ch your child or adult child to use the bathroom if they have sensory problems, and then go back and have them sit down while um, one of your caregivers uh, has you uh, sit on the plate, has you go, has you flush that toilet. Um, also, again, have their headsets or the headphones ready for the sound of the noise so they aren't going to have that meltdown. Um, so, there's that. Uh, but when these tours are over, my suggestion to you is if you have the opportunity, after these tours are over, just go and explore your airport. Go and have uh, your loved one see what it's like to actually board a plane. and. Have them look at different airlines and how they do things differently. Like Southwest is uh, more random than Delta Airlines. Also have them see that each person flying has an assigned seat. Uh, you can also uh, come up with a game plan and look to see uh, if their flights, uh, their cancellations or delays, and just come up with a game plan. Also have them uh, watch airplanes take off and uh, just have them tour the airport on their own. And if possible, uh, pull out your uh, camera on your phone and uh, take some video footage of uh, TSA patting down other individuals and save that, put that on your computer, put that on your big screen and have them look at the uh, TSA people patting them down and then practice patting them down, which is another suggestion by Temple Grandin Oh, we, she shared with me in an email. So, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy your uh, travels to and from Atlanta. Until next time, uh, I'm Maya Sundermeyer. But if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to uh, share these on social media and uh, and with your networks of anybody in the autistic community. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off. Bye.